devil is doing it? Are you going to open them bonbons or what? Cream-coloured ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel... Christopher Plummer's a very mixed-up individual, Myra. He called it the sound of mucus. Of three words to say to that. Section the bugger. And Kurt weren't a natural blonde, Sydney. He was more a smoky walnut. They didn't have the products we have today, raw bleach they chucked on his skull. Hence the tam shanter and do re -mi. Well, she was the perfect leading lady, was Julie Andrews. Treated all the cast and crew to a night out at the ballet. That's class, Rupinder, in anybody's book. Caucasian youth in woolens, rolling cardies. Request backup. I repeat, request backup. Mind if I look in your bag, sir? Hey! Well, go on, what are you waiting for? You were too quick for me. I got stuck in second gear again. Love. Yeah, I think so, darling. Oh, aren't you nice? in your later house, and so I velcroed in a chamois leather. I hope that's OK. Thanks, Mum. Same with that girl I saw you with this morning, Lee. Oh, have you got a new girlfriend, darling? You're courting babes. Oh! Tommy Jade. Oh, is she ethnic? No. Oh, cos what's it was, wasn't it, the last one? Look at Brandy. She's tied out, bless her. Look, Lee, look. She's been running all over today. She like Zola Bud with a tail. Good evening. Well, good old Manchester living up to his reputation yet again, a particularly damp and chilly one today. Biting, Turn that over now. winds bringing... Hey, I was watching that! Spirit thought for Lee's feelings, darling. It's just a block on the telly. You've got to get over this, Lee. What's a pot calling the kettle black? Oh, don't be racist, darling. So is a stam of jade. Why is this the third degree? Oh, do you remember the three degrees, darling? Then you had to wear a pair of flares. I don't know, Mum. Yet more in the way of rain. So my advice is, if you're venturing out this evening, do wrap up warm, take that brolly, and preferably a snood. Have a good one. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. You cry, he's won. Who's Mummy's brave girl, eh? Eh? Hey? I was petrified. I kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent. All right, Madison. How's it going? Lee, I've got seven words to say to you. I'm too young to have a stalker. Break me with your vibes. Did you think I'd crumble? Did you think I'd lay down and die? Oh, no, not I. So, she went into interior design. You know Michael Jackson? Not personally. She did this place. It's like when his little friends come round, he can, like, say to them, no, did this place out? And they're like, no, Michael Jackson, we don't. And he goes, Charmian Carr, a.k.a. Liesel from The Sound of Music. 
You know, Lee were in the shop the other day. How is Lee? Fine, why? Nothing. What's your lucky number? Seven. Seven children. Why? You know, Lee were nicking cardies, Maria. I don't understand. Like a pulley, but we bought them. No. I... I pretended I wasn't quick enough, said my wheelchair was dicky, but five minutes later, one of the security saw me doing a wheelie in men's underwear. So, they know something's up. I like your Lee, but something's gone wrong. At the men's is, played Louisa Von Trapp. Get this. She only went model for Playboy. Can you believe it? And finally, I'd like to say a big thank you for all your messages wishing me luck for the future. I've certainly enjoyed bringing you the weather for the last ten years, and I must say that I'm very much looking forward to fronting my new investigative primetime programme. You find them moulded from gold in the palaces of Venice, or al fresco, unadorned, a mere hole in the ground in the dusty back court of some Catalonian cafe. Join me, Larry Lavelle, as I delve into the toilets of Europe. Bye for now. If you could go anywhere in the world, money no object, where would you go? Salzburg. I've always wanted to go there. What's so special about that blessed film? It's magical. It's beautiful. And it's a true story. Oh, give over. You saw it that night. The night he stood you up. You went to that picture house and it made you feel better. And you've kept using it like an anaesthetic ever since. You never said goodbye, Connie. Never told me why. When he stood me up at that altar without so much as a buy your leave, I thought, right, that's it, he's out of my life. But he's not, is he? Because every time I switch on the telly, there he is. And every time I look at Lee. in that, Myra. Judy Finnegan. How much? Fiver. One at a time, please. Oh, babes, what a lovely surprise. I had these cardies I just happened to find up at Ginnell. So, Harley's on the rub again. Oh, Mum, you know what I think of that. Oh, don't be like that about it, darling. Lee, saving up for it. Oh, I'm only trying to help. No, Mum, it's got to stop. OK, babes, we're a team, you and me. I don't want to upset you. Don't be cross, you know. What? You heard? You can't be. I am. We have done out. Well, we must have. No I don't know what you're doing to me when the lights are out. Look, I'm sorry, Lee, but you're going to have to marry me. All right, I'll kill you otherwise. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't marry a scrub. Hey! What did you just call me? All oh, that time you were banging on about me having a roving eye, and all the time you've been putting it about yourself. Who else have you been shagging? No one! I don't believe you. You cheeky bastard! Delicious. For now, their new nose, possibly Skegness. Get myself a bungalow on the front. You should get a mink. And Charmy and Carl, Lisa, last Julie Andrews, what should you spend her earnings on? She said, buy a mink, Charmy. It's the best investment you'll ever make. I don't do dead animals. If you had the use of my legs, I'd been a hunt saboteur. How much did you win in the end? 1.2. And as you gave me your lucky number, I'm giving you this. And you're to spend it on going to Salzburg. I could buy flipping Salzburg with this much, Connie. Now, listen, you. I gave you a piece of advice on your wedding day 18 years ago to which you paid no heed. I said, forget him. But the advice I give you today, you've got to act on. Take Lee with you. 
Lee needs you and it'll do you both a world of good to spend some time together. See the sights, drown in the sound of music if you have to, then put it to bed, shut up about it, and move on. Connie, I can't take this much. It's only ten grand. I've got a plane to catch. minutes for market research. Oh, OK. Going to take your occupation. Nuntan governess. Right. And marital status? Married. Spouse's job. He's a sea captain with the Austrian Navy. Children? Seven. Don't envy your pelvic floor. Oh, the vice first wife. I think I'm still a virgin. Bring it up as my own. <laughs> now, coming up next, we've got another girl with a hefty set of lungs on her. Here she is, it's Madison Avenue with All Time High. Check it out! Cool. That doesn't seem much, does it? If I'd won all that money, I'd have given you half. Ten grand? It's a liberty. I think it's really generous of her. You always were easily pleased, darling. Well, it's as I've always said, never trust a store detective. If I'd have won that much, I'd have kept it all for myself. So do you fancy it? Ten grand. Of course I bloody do. No, Salzburg. What would I want to go there for? A holiday. I don't do holidays. Oh, don't be ungrateful, Lee. Your lovely mum's trying to give you a treat here. Isn't that right, Maria? Take me, Nan. Oh, I wouldn't be so presumative. Lee. Might do us good. Spend some time together. Get away from here. Like I said, take me nan. Oh, well, seems like it's just you and me. Oh, I can't wait. Have menopause, we'll travel, darling. <laughs> I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Have us comfy. I mean, engagement ring should be. Oh, hi, Madison. How do you? This is my brother, I am. I know. I've had him. I need this cleaning. What with my uh, appearance coming up? In court? On TV. Search for the new Madonna contest. Well, let's hope you do better than when you're on Stars in Their Eyes. Certainly don't recall Mariah Carey having an arse start as a Barnsley. Yeah. Well, I think you better adjust your horizontal control, love. I'm three laxatives away from being posh spice. I didn't know you knew Lee. Oh, yeah. Give me that. Oh, you're ever so pretty, you know. For a lesbian. Oops. I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Oh, baby. Oh! <laughs> oh, look who it isn't, Andy. Who's that? I don't say this about many people, Maria, but that man is evil. Yes, you do. Said it about Eamon Holmes. All that money he's still got Lionel in his kitchen. I never forget that night as long as I live. Going round to that bedsit of his. She's pregnant with your kid, I said. He says, do I look like I care? 
having Gretel a lazy eye again. She was with him? Rita McVitie from the Tate and Lyle? Slut! You made a lucky escape there, darling. How could he abandon you when you was having his baby and you were practically just out of nappies yourself? Just like I was. Oh, power hug. Your yeah, made that. She could copy any frock from a photo. That's a direct copy of Julie Andrews' dress. When Julie wore it, she said, I have never felt as beautiful as when I was wearing that gown. That dress was a miracle. I was keeping it. May as well chuck it. You're not gonna wear it, are you? I'm off out. I'm meeting Tammy Jade. Will you not give Salzburg another thought? Please. I hate the picture in my passport, ma'am. The Arndale Centre, Manchester. It has literally tens of shops for the would-be shopper. But what if I had a weak bladder? and I was caught short between Dodo's fashions and Sunita's samosas. What, I'm sure you're all asking, are the toilet facilities like? Maria, why are you unhappy? Well, you were only bloke I knew who loved Sound of Music as much as I did, it was straight. It was 18 years ago. He went away without saying goodbye. It's all I deserve, I'm sure, cutting folks' hair. Stuck here with them, too. Anyway, I'm going to Salzburg. That'll make me happy that will. What a super sound. And next week, I'll be jumping on a Eurostar train and checking out the urinals in... Come here, you bastard! My sister again, and I'll bite your bloody nose off. Got it? Ah. Come on. Ah. You dirty old lies. Not me. Dirty lies. What did you do that for? Get off me! Please. Oh, I Come with you if that's all right.
like a twat. Ah, oh, shut up. You look great. Is that the Danube? I don't know. It's not very blue, is it? It's the Salzach. Darling, let's leave him to me. What's she doing here? We told her ski pants were a good look. Yeah, I remind you, you're wearing curtains. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you know. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am Torsten of Torsten's Tours. I am welcoming you to today's very special tour on our extremely beautiful motor coach. Today we go in the footsteps of Mozart. So, sorry, sorry. We signed up for the Sound of Music experience. Running commentary and complimentary Edelweiss seeds. Today is not Sound of Music. Today is in the footsteps of Mozart. Now just get on the coach. Our extremely beautiful motor coach. Now, I'm sorry, darling, but my daughter's been waiting for this moment all her life, and as you can see, she's no spring chicken, bless her, and we definitely signed up for the Sound of Music Sound experience. Of music. Yes. Isn't that right, ladies? Yes. 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 It says in the brochure we get to meet a member of the cast. Will that still be happening? Oh, look, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Hildegard, have you met this very special lady? Come see, for this lady was in the movie as an extra of The Sound of Music. <gasps> Incredible fact. Can you guess which part she played? She's never Brigitte. She played second one or up in the singing concert. <gasps> Hildegard, do your bows. Does anyone have any questions for the famous Sound of Music lady? Um, what was Julie Andrews really like? She was evil. She completely misrepresented my people. Get on the coat. Come! Schnell! Schnell! Ryan did were wrong. I were angry with you. I still am a little bit. No, I still am with you. A little bit. Why? Well, now you know why I can't be the father. Yeah, well, I know you're not, because I'm not pregnant. What happened? Well, I made it up, didn't I? I was scared of losing you to Madison from dry cleaners. She's dead pretty and slim, and she's got a cracking voice. And she's a slag. I'm so sorry, Lee. When our Ryan did what he did, it got me thinking. I don't care what you are. I love you. I do. <sighs> Text for me, man. Says we'll miss the coach if we don't hurry. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see how much you really know about Sound of Music. Who played Maria in the original Broadway production? Let me give you a clue. 
She was the bad guy in Dallas's mother. Remember him? He was awesome. Mary Martin. Well done, the chick. Now, how many of you know that Maria von Trapp was a real person? Oh, God, yeah, she was real. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, she was no Julie Andrews. She was more like Sherman Tank. <laughs> no, and my bloat left me high and dry in Oldham, of all places. Do you know Oldham? No. Home of the tubular bandage? Well, anyway, when Larry oh, stood up at the altar, it was like, well, it was like history repeating itself, if I'm honest, Dawson. But then, see, that's our bond. We're like that. We'd be nothing without each other. Mother, you're borrowing the giblets out of him. And here we have the famous summer house. This is a house that we visit in the summer, but in no other season must it be visited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to give women pleasure with my wicked tongue. <laughs> and it was here they sing the 16 going on 17 song, and all that took place here. Or did it? Well, no, it didn't. They recreated this summer house in Los Angeles. Follow me if you want the bathroom. OK. <laughs> All my life, it's what I've dreamed of. Being here. I know it sounds daft, but I've always felt that there was something not quite right. Something to miss. Because I've never seen here. Don't sound daft. I feel like that. Like there's something not quite right. Not all there. You know I've been saving up and you've never asked me what for. You don't have to tell me. I want to have an operation. I'm going to be a fella. A proper fella, cos I am, ma'am, I'm a fella. You do understand, don't you? Nan does. And this, ma'am, this is Tammy Jade. I'm with engaged, and I'm going to marry her after the op. Hiya. Oh, I like your boots. <laughs> you know the scene in here? If you look really carefully, you can see Liesel's got one leg thicker than the other, and do you know why? Cos her leg's bandaged. It is. Cos, on the very first take, she jumps off one of these benches and she goes crashing into the glass and... <laughs> Lee! <laughs> Approaching Monzi. This is where they film in the movie The Wedding. Hey, you wanna come walking with me, foxy lady? Oh, I don't know, darling. My daughter's not very good on her own. I'm fine, it's you lovely. go. Which was this? Oh, I don't know. Was it the summer house? Oh, well, you know that. Ja, da ist sie. Wiedersehen, Fräulein. Wiedersehen.
Austin's asked me out tonight. Randy Bugger thinks he's on a promise. He's gonna be gutted. You should go. Enjoy yourself. I've got a date tonight. Have you? Who is? I can't believe he's here. I can't believe you're going out with him. Are you mad? Where are you going? This place, where they have a Sound of Music dinner show. You like have your dinner? And folk get up and sing songs from the film. You're mental. You can't seriously be thinking of going. Why not? Because he's done stood all for me for the past 18 years, hasn't he? Yeah. And he ran away to Dubai without so much as a buy your bloody leave. Living the life of Riley, pictures in the paper, dolly birds on his arm. I think you'll find he married one of them. She died last year. In suspicious circumstances, wasn't it? I don't know. His cancer suspicious. I read in glosses that he was dead controlling of her. Wouldn't let her leave the house unless you were wearing Ray-Bans and a yash mat. That's outrageous! And you're still going through with this? Listen! If I thought you were talking sense, I would! Ever since Connor gave me that money, I've known something was going to happen here, something special. Cos it's a magical place. And I knew that whatever opportunity knocked on my door, I'd take it. But, Maria, he abandoned my bloody granddaughter! Son! Mm. No-one does that and gets away with it! Yeah, she's not the only one he abandoned, is she? He? Stand him up! He stood you up all them years ago. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Just want to know. Why he stopped loving me? He never loved you in the first place, you silly cow. It was off Roger and Rita McFitty from the Tate and Nile. Mum, will you get out of my way? I just don't want to see you get hurt again, love. You're a sensitive soul. It's a family tree. I'm going, Mum. You can't no. stop me. I'm having a panic attack, Mas. Don't go. I've got to. <laughs> Lee. Lee. You've got to stop. This is terrible. I depend on you. You must miss it. The weather. Still, this new job. It's a very interesting show. We all use toilets. <laughs> Did you ever get that stall on the market? Selling biscuit misshapes. You always said you would. I'm a peripatetic hairdresser. This isn't a wig. It's not real, but, but it, it isn't a wig. Oh, Larry. You must have such an adventurous lifestyle. Life's crap, Maria. Life's always been crap. It's can't be all bad. Success. I've had it by the lorry load. Mm. OK magazine paid for my conservatory. Through the keyhole, they're always tapping at me cat flap. I once hokey coked with Fergie for bulimia awareness. She's not very nice. <laughs> no, no she's, she's lovely. It's just... Well, she's all right. It all counts for nothing if you wake up in the morning and all you can see before you is huge deserts of isolation and nothingness. Right. Oh. Don't cry, Larry. Hey? Don't cry. It must have been good with your wife. No. I never loved her. Larry! I hate my life! Larry! Help me, Maria! <laughs> that really hurts. Well, can you blame me? 
spent the last 18 years of my life hating your frigging guts and you sit there doing a little woe is me act. Oh, that's funny because I've spent the last 18 years hating you. Why would you hate me? Oh, calling the wedding off, having another man's baby. What? Don't come the innocent with me. Why would you think that? It's what your mum told me. What? I'll never forget that night as long as I live. I'd had a letter that morning offering me the job on Dubai telly. I phoned your house and told your mum. She seemed a bit distracted and asked me to meet her up Perseverance Park. I've got bad news, darling. It's our Maria. She's gone and got herself pregnant and you ain't the father. Wedding's off. She goes, I'm so sorry, darling. I wouldn't have believed it of my own daughter, but she's played you like a Stradivarius. She asked me to give you this, and she gave me your letter. Power hug, I said. Who's the father? Ricky McVitie from the Tate and Lyle. Who? Ricky McVitie from the Tate and Lyle. But hang on a minute, what letter? I never wrote you no letter. I was heartbroken. I packed my case and I headed for the airport that very night. Larry, I did not write you a letter and you know it. Now, if she really said all those things, did you not think to ring me, check if it were true? When I rang, Kath said that you didn't want to speak to me and I did get a letter. You make it up as you go along, you do. How many times do I have to tell you? You never got a letter, Larry, because I never wrote you one. I've kept that for 18 years. I brought it to Salzburg because... because I thought it was like bringing a bit of you here. This isn't my writing. You said your handwriting was cock-a-hoop because you'd sprained your wrist attempting Bo Derek braids. This is my mum's writing. What are you saying, Maria? never turned up, and I never knew why. You went to the church. I had them tickets for Benidorm, but I couldn't face it, so I went to the pictures instead. Went to see our movie. It was... It was the 20th anniversary of its release. I thought, I don't want this life. This life where folk let you down. Where I'm pregnant and the dad's done a bunk. I want that life. That life on the screen. And for a couple of hours I had it. I was a nun. In Salzburg. With seven children. And I was married to a captain who made me happy. Are you saying? Are you saying that the baby was mine? You have a, a child. A boy? A girl? What have I got? I had a little girl. I called her Liesel, but... Something wrong? Dead. No. Well, what then? Lee? There's someone I think you should go and meet. Must be Lee. My son. Fancy a stroll? I always wanted a son. My missus couldn't have kids, problems with her tubes. How long have you been living as a fella then? 
long as I can remember. So you're determined to go through with it? Fair play to you, lad. They're pricey, them things, aren't they? I manage. I got a nice golden handshake when I stopped doing the weather. I don't want anything from you, pal. I think there's a few things you should know. You're never going to believe what's happened. Bloody Kennel's been on the phone. Brandy's come over all depressed off her food, howling at Trisha. I've got to catch a plane. That dog needs a power hug. What? What men are bastards, are they? What does that make you? I told them to play her a bit of Barry Manilow, darling. But I think it's made her worse. And what does that make you? Larry weren't right for you, darling. He was too old. Did you fancy him? Are you in love with him? Is that it? When he told me he was going to take you to Dubai, I panicked, darling. I'm not your darling. Don't say that, darling. Do you know how irritating that is? You see, you didn't just deprive me of a fella. You deprived her of a dad. We're a good team, me and you. Larry was always coming on to me. It's true. I had to put a stop to it. Go on, ma'am. Go on to Brandy. What I done, I done for the best for all of us. Lee, tell her. Lee. Get out. You heard what she said. I want you to go and meet him. You best go after your nan before she chucks herself off an alp. I sod it, leave her. I'm not 16 going on 17 anymore. Neither of us are. What do we always say? What were we going to do one day? Come here. Drink champagne and dance. There's no music. I seem to remember you always thought I had magic fingers. What are you going to do? Click them. Music plays. No. Oh. But I'm sure if we really concentrate, we'll hear something. Give me a look. Well, maybe if you rest your head on my shoulder, it might help. Right. Can you hear that? So anyway, what do you reckon to seven children? What? Now? <laughs> <laughs> mm. 